Well, good afternoon, uh, Kevin and John. Uh, welcome to Singapore. And uh, the community club stamp also welcomes you here. I think uh, we have a lot of uh, your users here uh, in Singapore and, uh, who are using your products, both the, you know, the, the Joby and, you know, of course, uh, Loi Po products. Now, um, just to you know, get straight to the point, I'd like to just ask, um, um, what's the normal process Kevin, uh, as far as you know, you know, coming up with new products and adding on to the Loi Po line, and how, how do you guys uh, you know, come up with all these new ideas, or how do you know what consumers want today? Because uh, yeah. uh, you know, digital photography has changed a lot. Cameras are getting smaller, and uh, and uh, you know, and and, and, and uh, equipment needs are also changing constantly. Yeah. yeah. You're probably our biggest source of, of inspiration and, and ideas comes from our professionals. And so we have a network of, of professionals that we, we communicate with on a regular basis, not only from uh, a, a testing standpoint, but also new ideas. And so we, oftentimes we're, we're, we're showing them our drawings, um, showing them our ideas, and, and then getting feedback from them. And then we'll go from that point to making samples Right. We have a, um, facilities in our, our brand office in California, in the mm -hmm. United States, where we're making things. But we also have our, our sample room in, in Asia, in, in China, where we are also manufacturing samples. Um, and we will, we will then go back and forth between the two, the, the discussion between the designer and, and the professional. So um, normally, what kind of timeline are we looking at for drawing board well, to... Well, some something? products don't, ne are never ready. Uh -huh. um, and we, we, we have an idea and we go somewhere um, and we don't think that it's uh, viable and so we may cancel it. Some products, uh, we still think that there's good ideas, like we have some idea, um, some new products coming this mm -hmm. fall that have taken us almost 24 months to get ready um, because that's the, how long it takes for us to get it right. Um, but then on the other side, sometimes uh, the ideas come together very quickly and we can do things in as short as, as four or six months. Um, from when we have the idea till we see it on a shelf. Uh, that's more rare um, because we like to do the, the longer quality control time. But um, yeah, so if I were to say the average time, it takes us about one year mm -hmm. uh, to, to have an idea, to uh, matriculate, develop it into, into something that is, is ready for customers. Right. Now, obviously, the, um, the, 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 the consumer market, you know, Apart from the professionals, uh, of course, buying a lot more camera bags than professional would be buying, just given the raw numbers. Now, the um, um, what are the uh, what are the better selling you know products in uh, Loi Pro's line at the moment, and uh, you know, and are there any reasons for that? Um. To your point on, on, on volume, I would say yeah. that yeah, enthusiasts certainly have a, a larger volume, but we often find professionals have six or seven low pro bags in their in their quiver. So sometimes the the consumer may only have one product. Uh -huh. um, if I'm talking about um, consumers, oh man, what's you know the slingshot product is mm -hmm. is one of our favorites um, because it offers so much value for for the. Uh, for the enthusiast, it's it's a compact package. It's not a very expensive product, but it has um, it's a good size for um, the kit. That usually, is is purchased at that at that level of enthusiasm. And it and the way it functions, it allows you to shoot out of it very quickly. And so you can be carrying it and you swing it around, and you can open up and you can be shooting within seconds while still keeping your your investment very well protected. Um, beyond that, um, you know certainly the all of our shoulder bags, um, depending on the on the amount of gear. Um, I know the Nova series is, is popular, uh, has great protection, has great um, capabilities and storage, um, from the all-weather cover to just the size and the, the way you can organize your things inside of it. Um, when it comes to professional product, you know, we get to some of the larger backpacks just because the, the amount of lighting gear, um, the amount of the stands, the tripods, the, all the accessories around just the basic imaging starts to become much more important to a professional. And, and so we start to look at a lot of backpacks and some of our roller bags. Um, you know, 
the, the Pro Trucker Series is a backpack, a very large, um, um, very capable product um, that can carry everything you would need for a, a professional shoot. And then there's the, the Pro Roller Series, which also has just a, a tremendous capacity. So the, those are the things I think of um, when I really ask that question. Now, uh, I'd like to ask John a question. Now, uh, as far as the distribution of low A Pro products, uh, uh, how, uh, you know, what are your, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your, your distribution channels? Yeah, sure. And uh, you know, how quickly you know, uh, do they move out to you know, the, the, the agents and the distributors? So we, we tend to launch products in all markets at the same time. There's always a slight delay. Uh, in uh, some markets uh, will be before others but Asia so close to our, our design and uh, 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 factories uh, also in Asia uh, tends to get it actually sometimes sooner than our European subsidiaries um, we choose our distributors uh, for their ability to uh, have technical expertise uh, obviously their financial security uh, and their skill level uh, here in Singapore, we've had a relationship that has gone for two decades. Or right. um, those are very important parts of how we develop. We've just come from a meeting where we've been showing some ideas for future product, and getting ideas back. And as a result of that, there will be subtle nuances that get changed. We have to take account of torrential rain that happens in monsoon season here which is very different if you're sitting in a California design office and worrying about 16 months of drought and having not seen rain. So it changes your design philosophy. So our distributor network is a very important part of balancing the design values and getting the different usage behaviors. A good example of that is that in uh, China, backpacks are the most popular form of, of camera bag. In Russia, you can't sell a backpack. And you ask and you investigate, and you find it's because for eight months of the year, the clothing is so massive that the only way you can actually carry anything is over this padded shoulder with the big head caps and all the rest of it. So it's a very different behavior. So uh, they only have three months of shooting outside. The rest is all indoors. Very different. Right. Now, as far as um, uh, customer support, not dealer support, but customer support. You know, how, how do you how do you train your distributors or your agents as to providing customer support, and what are the most important points of or aspects of this support that you would emphasize to your dealers or your distributors? What we try and do is we try and get them to ask questions more and speak less. The answer is usually with the customer. Yes. If you find out what the customer needs you are more likely to be able to support them. They already have a product. They, for example, Lopro has the all-weather cover. Very important here in Singapore. Uh, but we find that sometimes salespeople forget in their enthusiasm to show the product that just underneath there, there's a little pouch and, oh goodness, the whole bag can be covered from the rain. Just reminding them, training them on those kinds of things. Uh, and asking those kinds of questions. If someone calls in on the phone here in Singapore to the Cafe Photo office and says, uh, my camera bag got wet, you told me it was weatherproof. The first question we ask is, did you manage to find the all weather cover in the camera, camera bag? Oh, where's that? Then we know that, you know, Cafe will know that it's time to go back to that dealer and retrain them. Uh, but there's a standard set of features in many of the cameras, the camera bags, that we make sure that people understand why we choose materials, what the divider system does, how to access from the side, all those kind of things. Right. Now back to back to Kevin. Now, uh, Kevin, uh, the uh, the the question I'd like to ask you is, uh, as far as uh, well, apart from design. Um, is, is Loy Pro experimenting or going to be implementing any new materials as far as you know, their, their bags are concerned? Because uh, 
you know, the, the, the different, com your, your other competitors are coming up with pretty lightweight camera bags uh, the, and, and, and bags that don't need rain covers that are waterproof by themselves, uh, for example, okay? So, uh, you know, are you, is Roy Pro experimenting with your new materials, you know, uh, in the coming, over the coming year? Or have you been you know, working on new materials? The short answer is, is yes. You know, when, when the material is right for the for the product, we, we are we are using it. Um, you know, we, we have when you talk about some of the lighter weight materials, um, we have existing products that are currently in our line in um, in our uh, like Photo Sport. There's several products that are um, Rover Pro. These are examples of, of some of our backpacks that have really really high tech. Um, high strength nylon materials that, that are, are these outdoor inspired um, products. You'll also be seeing some stuff from us in the coming months um, where we, it's even even to the next level. Um, you, you talk about waterproof products. Um, you know, Lowepro introduced the world to waterproof camera bags um, almost a decade ago, and and we haven't stopped there. We have other we have, we've added to that with uh, the Dry Zone series. So, so you, yes, absolutely. That this is something that, that we feel really passionate about. Actually, from our our perspective, the materials are, are inherent to the, the performance of the product, and, and we are constantly looking at it. not only and, and beyond even just performance into some lifestyle or uh, devices that uh, or products that have other characteristics that a customer may want, such as. Right. Soft feel, or, or, right? Or uh, I'm going to ask you a, a sensitive question here. Yeah. Well, Lawyer Pro has always gone, you know, always almost always black to for aim at professionals or or for photographers who want to look professional. But of course, there's a growing group of photographers who just sling around your know, smaller size cameras yes. that they put into handbags yes. and uh, you know, they, they bring it around as very casual cameras. Now, uh, uh, how are you addressing uh, you know, consumers like these who don't need a black camera, but who might need something in a different color or in a different, more fashionable, Paul Smith-like design? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, are, are there any steps moving towards that direction? Yeah, there's the, and that's right to the heart of, of, of some of the discussions that we've been having recently. In the, up and including to Especially today. leather, you know, leather seems to be coming back very strongly recently. Right, in a, in a, in a, as a trim or as a detail and, and very fashionable and yeah, some of those classic styling um, within products with, with the natural fibers, with leather, you see it in, in, in throughout the, the fashion bag industry, but also um, within the context of camera bags. I, yes, the, I have to be a little bit quiet when I talk about the future. Um, but this is something that that is very much in, in my mind in our design group, all the way through to um, the, the corporate initiatives, our company's initiatives. And um, while you may not see it today, I, I think you'll you'll be very surprised or, or pleasantly surprised as to what we'll be offering shortly. To use an old yeah. line from uh, the famous Apple company. Uh, we do not comment on unannounced products. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I do respect that uh, as far as uh, letting the cat out of the bag, but I know Photokina is coming up in a couple of months, and uh, you'll be really, I understand that you'll be releasing a few new products, in, uh, a couple of new lines. Now, without you know, you know, letting too much out of the cat, what can the Consumer generally roughly expect from you know, Lowe Pro, and in which areas are you know should be should they be looking at you know, as far as you know, what's what's we, what's going to be coming up uh, you know, during Photokina? Well, for the purposes of a record like a video record, we can't make a comment on camera. <laughs> Um, if the camera is off, I'm very happy to uh, give you an. All right. Well, will it be a <laughs> A, a subtle evolution of what you have currently, or, or is, is something totally different, anything revolutionary? I think for the record, one could say that the, the design direction 
take some of the materials that we've been playing with in our professional products and bringing them to a new level for the serious enthusiast, uh, lighter, more adventurous, adventuresome in shape, um, recognizing the different uses that people are putting to. I think a very important element of what we think is very important is to actually understand the whole person. And that is that the photographer also is a mobile phone user and an iPhoneographer very often at the same time. They're not mutually exclusive. At the same time, they probably have a tablet. They preview their pictures. They may even have a mobile hotspot device in their bag to immediately upload the Wi-Fi device. So uh, when you add the laptop to that, now we've got six devices. So the classic low-pro bags in the past were designed just for cameras. What you'll see, and we have been doing since 1997, We've been designing bags that take, take laptops, but they're not laptops that are an inch and a half thick anymore. They're Apple uh, Air uh, style devices. So, uh, MacBook Air. So, all of that's an evolution. And photographers are actually much more conservative sometimes than, on the one hand, they say, oh, I want color and so on. And what do they buy? They actually buy black. When we've had identical products, in color on the wall, 80% of the people around the world choose black. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we have color, yes, we have new shapes and forms. And if I can just add one more comment on waterproof, Lopro invented the first waterproof camera bag, soft ca waterproof camera bag. But we make a lot of water resistant bags, and we differentiate between those two, and we're not prepared to depart from that. So, there are Certainly people who claim and use the word waterproof that on our tests are anything but. And uh, a consumer, when they've spent $7,000 on an EOS 1N or a, 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 a D4, has every